What is up, my Sportalites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Destiny. Another week, another memory to do. Let's talk to Eris. So, what do we got? Memory of Ariana 3. Ariana 3 was the Praxic Warlock who led our fire team of six into the Hellmouth and unknowingly to our doom. I do not blame her, Guardian. During the Great Disaster, Crota snuffed out the love of the love in her heart and left only Venom. In the end, before she lost her life in the Oversoul Throne, Ariana 3 came to regret her haste for vengeance. Reclaim the true memory of Ariana 3 for Eris Born. Begin by recovering stolen treasures from lunar scavengers beneath the surface of the moon. So, let's see. We need to reclaim a treasure from hive lunar scavengers or fallen lunar scavengers, wherever those might be it now i'm actually going to be turning in let's see i'm gonna try to turn in let's something that we can actually go down and get like well, acre of light's not too far so we could probably grab ourselves that but yeah we got the last memory here the final one ariana 3 is erisborn's closest friend in fact she is so important to the story that she is the only uh member of eris's fire team that actually has an exotic named after her known as ariana's vow it is an exotic hand cannon that was the seasonal weapon when shadow keep launched with season of the undying it is a special hand cannon that effectively acts just like a it's like a midway point between like a sniper rifle like a like a a pretty light, well, no, it's a pretty hard-hitting sniper rifle, but also is a hand cannon, if that makes sense. Very slow firing, very hard-hitting, and again, takes special ammo. Very cool weapon, actually, and it also has anti-barrier rounds intrinsic, which was kind of a big deal at the time, because Shadowkeep was when champions were first introduced to the game. So we're going to go, and we're going to track down these Lunar and Fallen Scavengers, and I will see you in just a second. Aha! I finally found you. Man, that took about 25 minutes to track you down, but I'm here in the Shrine of Oryx area. Now, there's only one spot where fallen scavengers can spawn, and that is over in the Trader's Catch, which is where you do the Tanix uh, Nightmare Hunt. But everywhere else, it is a Lunar Scavenger. Now, these are... It can be in one of any 11 locations on a week-to-week -week basis. I don't even think there's like a natural rotation nailed down, so you kind of just have to check all of them. But they can be found in Temple of Crota, World's Grave, Chamber of Night, Circle of Bones, Gatehouse, Catacombs, Hall of Wisdom, Shrine of Oryx, and then there is two spots in the Lunar Battlegrounds, and of course the last one is the Trader's Catch that I already mentioned. Sometimes it'll be a Wizard, sometimes it'll be a Knight, sometimes it'll be a Thrall. Whatever you do, you kill the Yellow Bar, and once you do that, you will have the rest of these enemies spawn kill all of them and eventually you will have a big enemy that's going to spawn in that you need to then take care of once that is done you're good to go so we're almost there let's just take care of all these i'm going to try to see if i can put like one two punch to use here here we go well i guess that wasn't like as strong as i would have liked but oh well all right so there's that and then we get another enemy in here we're getting a little bit stronger let's start putting my grenade launcher to use here a little bit i can't wait until these things get buffed oh there there we go you're a big boy aren't you or big girl i suppose and uh that should do it right and yes indeed it does all right i'll just take all of you out scavenge the chest and there we go memory of ariana 3 is on to the next step now we need to search for ariana's three's lost letters from wei ning using a solar subclass defeat champions in any difficulty uh any activity with a difficulty of hero or higher Oh my goodness, that took way longer than was necessary. It's really hard finding uh, people for the heroic level strikes when you're down at these levels. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm going to return to Erisborn here in just a second. But there was me killing the 10th and final champion after two runs of this strike. That, uh, well, it was more like three, two and a half, and then I had some teammates quit out on me because they decided they didn't know how to actually play the game properly. So that, that was great. Anyway, see you at Aris in a second. And we are back. Okay, let's head through the portal. Go and talk to Aris. So I actually want to point out really quickly, in the middle of doing all that, I actually got myself a new exotic, which is the Darcy Sniper Rifle. This is a power weapon that 
does additional damage when you ever, whenever you activate personal assistant. And you need to do this by aiming at an enemy for a... I was going to say extended period of time, but it's really only like a second or two. And once personal assistant is locked on them, you do a significantly high amounts of damage. This is really good for things like boss enemies. It also... Uh, Darcy is also basically the most aim body sniper in the entire game. Its aim assist is just absolutely stupid so it's really easy to land precision shots when you need to it used to be one of the best dps options in the game before they changed it Ariana. she herself said she didn't want to be remembered this way i want to remember her the way she was before the disaster before the darkness eris when your strike team headed to the moon did ariana 3 carry the letters waning center Yes, to remind her of why we fought, why we sought to bring about Crota's end. It was not simply vengeance. Ariana wanted no one to suffer, like she and Wei had suffered. That is how she should be remembered. Ever since our descent into the pit, when I thought upon my friends, I remembered only pain. These keepsakes have reminded me there was joy, too. So long as these treasures are here to remind me of my friends, these phantoms tend not hurt me. All right, let's open it up. And that is it. That is the final... One of Eris' memory, memory quests, you know you're done when you get that Moonrider 1 Sparrow, which is exclusive to finishing these sorts of quests. It's a little bit interesting. It's it's uh, Design is supposed to emulate the lunar colonies that were actually set up here on the moon. There's also a few emblems that are associated with it as well, and I believe a ghost shell and possibly a couple of shaders that are all very moon-related. So this is not supposed to invoke the dark side of the moon but it's supposed to look more like the golden age uh wh or what the moon was like in the golden age when it was colonized and whatnot so that's where that whole sort of aesthetic comes from and we get a fine memorial with a very terrible role ladies and gentlemen that is going to be it for this episode of let's play destiny thank you all so very much for watching and i will see you all in the next one